Nobody knows your town like Downtown. Downtown Radio. A very good afternoon to you. Right, 18 minutes after 12. Now, my next guests on First Sight seem, well, an unlikely union. Pretty different styles, but when you actually hear what they produce, you just get it. Their second studio album is set for release this week. It's called Golden Days. He's a music legend in every way imaginable. I'll let you interpret that. And also, she is a Broadway superstar, which she has one of the most magnificent voices to ever come out of the UK, on and off the stage. Brian May, Kerry Ellis. A very good afternoon to both Hello. of you. Hi, very nice. Very kind of you. Yeah, what a lovely introduction. Oh, you. Well, I think you've earned it. You know, oh, think you've earned it. Uh, that was a nice little song you played there. Who was oh, yeah, that? I do. <laughs> Quite a guitarist in that uh, one as well. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Carrie, we just missed you. I know. Oh, yeah. I've literally flown back from Belfast on Sunday. I know. You could have stayed a couple of nights I extra. I know. <laughs> I've been working now. I'd have missed the show, but I, but I had such a nice time. I, I, you know, you don't ever get a chance to kind of stay somewhere. And we we were there for a week um, yeah. at the Opera House, which was wonderful. And yeah. I was there with Wonderland. And, and you were uh, up in the northwest, up in Derry, London as well, before yes. that as well. Yeah. Yeah. They work you hard in that show. They so do, the don't day, they? But it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Thank Brian, you. you've known this lady. You've been, uh, you know, working with this lady for what, about 13 years now, is that right? Yes, indeed. Yep. How did that all come about? How did that partnership come about? It was We Will Rock You, the musical that brought us together. Of course. You know, which was a new thing for us, new territory. And we'd, we'd never auditioned people before. And uh, to cut a fairly long story short, mm. Kerry auditioned for the part of me <laughs> and ended up creating that role and playing it in, in the West End for yeah. two years yeah. and absolutely destroyed it, you know, in the best possible way. She just killed it every night. Oh, she w you were brilliant, Kerry. I saw you, actually, oh. when that first started. It was absolutely oh, brilliant. God. She's magnificent. I was a mere child. <laughs> <laughs> she was, yeah. And I was a young man. You know? <laughs> mere, mere slips of kids. You can hardly remember that. <laughs> And then, yeah. of course, you know, the first album, Anthems, uh, mm. you know, that, uh -huh. gosh, that's that's like, what, for, it took five years in the making, yeah. that album. Yeah, because, of course, we get eternally pulled in, in opposite yeah. directions, because Kerry is, you know, a big, big musical star, musical mm -hmm. theatre star, you know, and she's always in demand. And I have all sorts of stuff to do in my day job. As you know, you know, just a few things. There's a lot, Brian. yeah. There's lots of stuff going <laughs> One on. One or two things. <laughs> the odd queen tour thrown in. So you know that that five years we didn't actually see that much of each other. Mm. So it, it's not surprising that it took that long. But we were learning also the craft. You know, I'd never produced a woman before. You know, in the studio. Never. Uh, no. Before, before Kerry. Never. No. So it was all a learning curve, and I wanted to write for her. I wanted to find th things which would exploit that wonderful voice. You know, and I I saw a rock star in Kerry. Even perhaps she didn't. See at the time, you know, but she she is kind of a rock star as well of as being she is. Mrs. West End. You know, she's the lot. She's everything. So What's it like then? For I mean, like, how do you approach producing a woman? Do you approach it very differently? Obviously, it's than a very woman. different. And we're well, the, very difficult women, as we know. Yeah. We're very difficult, of course. <laughs> Perfectionists <laughs> as well. Uh, yeah, well it's, yeah, a lot of stuff's different. The keys are different for a the start. You know, so different. you write in a different way and you arrange in a different way. But you know, you, what you feel as a man, as a woman sings, is very different from what you feel as a man yeah. hearing a man sing. You know, and I've written for Freddie for years and years and years, produced you know those things, but it's a very different thing. And um, Kerry, it, it's always been inspiring to me whether we're working on new material or we're bringing in songs from anywhere. You know, they can be rock songs or they can be musical theatre. We span all the different genres, which is great. You know, have a mm. completely free hand you know an open canvas if you like well that's what this uh, new album is quite like as well it's like mm. you've had an open hand you've kind of looked yeah. at it and gone totally. you know we'll have this one and we'll do that one and it's like mm. a wish yeah. list all put together yeah, isn't it, it is. yeah it's fabulous i mean i love exploring the best songs that have ever been written like uh, if i loved you i think you know oh. not many rock stars would probably even Tackle come that, across right? it yeah. but you know it's one of the most beautifully perfect works of art yeah. in my opinion ever so for us to go in there and reinterpret is fantastic. Mm. It's really thrilling. And, and when I hear Kerry interpret and I get to work w moving stuff around her, you know, in, in the arrangements and stuff, it's, it's thrilling. It really is. It never gets old. Yeah, I want to talk to you about a little bit about Gary Moore because there's a there's a mm. great Parisian walkways mm. is in it now, Brian. I mean, 
you were, you know, just your brand name, for goodness sake. I mean, <laughs> and, you know, Gary Moore is Gary Moore. Oh. And it's like, you know, you have this deep appreciation of each other's technique and all the rest of it. I mean, Gary's very, oh. he was a really fast player with, like, lots of staccato runs. And yeah, wonderful player. A bit player. of jazz Passionate in there player. as well. Yeah, I incredible. Mean, when you hear Parisian walkways, I mean, how, how do you interpret that? And how, how did you get into that one? Well, it's a song, I think, like any other, you know, and it's a song written for guitar. So it was kind of crying out for me to have a go. Yeah. It's not that different from my style, I suppose. Um, but I worked with Gary a lot when yeah. we toured the Are States. You yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I used to have to go on after him. Yeah. Which I tell you, <laughs> did, he get, did he get quite a lot of fun out of that? Did he get oh, yeah. run out of that? <laughs> yeah, we had great times. He's a lovely guy. I mean, you know, it's so sad that he's gone. Yeah. But it was a real thrill. I, I was asked to do it as a tribute to Gary. I didn't just pluck it out of the sky. Yeah. Um, you know, the guy who's producing his tribute album said, "Will you do this track?" And I thought, "Yeah, I'd love to." I've never tried it. It's in my head, but it's never been in my hands before. Yeah. And of course, it's also a song. So I thought perfect for Kerry because no one's ever thought of a woman singing this song and my god it works just great I think absolutely and of course we we'll have to mention Phil Linnett in that as well it's Phil Linnett co-wrote the song and yeah. originally sang it of course yeah. yeah the great Phil yeah we miss him of Good course Lord absolutely. we lost Rick Parfit recently uh, it's, it's just oh, listen let, let's don't even go there Brian we're yeah, not, we're it's not too even sad. gonna go there it's just Maybe. horrible so mm. I know all these people you worked with and knew you and uh, it's like losing your mates, isn't it? Well, it is. It yeah, is. You absolutely. are losing your mates. Anyway, let's yeah, move on. Well, having lost Freddie, you know, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's the that's biggest one. That's a big one. one. Yeah. Um, you did a rock rearrangement of Born Free. Who on earth would have thought of doing that? <laughs> only only well, you again, could have done that. <laughs> probably not many people would have thought no. that. <laughs> it came to us. Me and Kerry did a lot of work with Virginia McKenna, the founder of Born Free. Ended up going out to Africa to rehouse lions. Mm amazing thrill to work yeah, out there incredible. in the bush and she wanted the song you know she she wanted the, a, a new interpretation of the song and to me it was a great challenge because it's matt monroe original is as far as you could possibly yeah. imagine from the world yeah. of rock music but it's a great song written by don black and, um, and john barry john yeah. barry you know this is a serious bit of writing mm -hmm. So to me, it was a thrill to reinterpret. And of course, you have Kerry on top, who just soars like a, an angel over the top. It's amazing. I love that track. Kerry, do you get intimidated <laughs> by doing all these fantastic songs? <laughs> I mean, is it, it must be a bit nerve-wracking. You know what's interesting, actually, is almost, it's almost after the event. You know, it's, when we're doing it, it's kind of, it's collaborative. And, it, you know, we're discovering it. And you just get stuck in and you don't think about it. And it's not until... It's like, you know, it's recorded and it's down or you hear it somewhere that you suddenly go, oh, my God, actually, you yeah. know, the history that's involved in that song. Like we were saying, you know, Don Black, who's actually wrote us some extra, some brand new lyrics to, mm. to, for our version. You know, really? He, mm. he wrote us a, a, a bit of verse for, for our version. So, and we know Don and, and it's not until I actually sit about, sit and think about it, what we've done, that it, you know, it becomes daunting and go, oh my God, that's yeah. incredible. It's best but when not you're to doing think about it, it. Yeah, when you're doing it, you just get involved in it and you don't really think about it. Yeah. Mm. Brian, I've got a, a couple of people asking questions, Queen questions, so you're going to have to forgive me for these ones. But um, uh -oh. um, the 3D book, the Queen 3D yeah. book, is that out now? It's out next month. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Listen, now, you, you're actually a bit of a sneaky photographer during um, your your wild and free days, were I've you? always been sort of devoted to images as well as sound, really, and 3D is my thing, you know, th since being a kid and finding 3D viewers in Weetabix packets. I've been absolutely impassioned about 3D, so I carried a 3D camera with me all through those years. Wow. And, uh, still do. Still do. <laughs> what yeah, what are you doing there, Kerry? Some great stuff of Kerry. Yeah, still we, does. We, we need a Kerry 3D book at some point, I tell you. <laughs> but in those days, I would give the camera to someone while we were on stage, and they would snap away, and occasionally you get a good one. And I would snap away backstage or in the studio or in a bus or in a plane or whatever thinking this is just fun and I love it. But now, going back and seeing all this stuff, it's incredibly evocative. Because wow. 3D, you know, you look into a 3D picture and it's not like looking at a snap. It's yeah. something much, much more evocative. You feel like you're there. Yeah. So this book is a first, and I'm, I can't believe what what's in there now. Is it like a photographic uh, version, biography kind of? It's almost, yeah. It's a series of snapshots, obviously, by definition. You know, there's so much that isn't in there. But it goes right from 19... Well, you know, 10 years after I was born. Yeah, of course. Is, uh, <laughs> well, well, like 2002, you know, it's like yeah, not that long ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, really. But all the way up to all the way up to the present day, and there's a, there's a picture of Kerry and me in there. But 
you know, doing our stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, and us and Adam on stage. So it's 3D all through those years, 50 years of... of wow, amazing. Of, Amazing. We can get your hands on that. You can also get your hands, of course, on the new album uh, from Kerry and Brian. Did you like that link there? I did. That was did smooth. you see what I did? Yeah, there? just lead us back in there, will you? <laughs> just take you back. Such but, a professional. Oh, I'll tell you, it's like this coming Friday. And um, guy, also, Brian, sorry if they're going to kill me if I don't ask you this. Um, it, obviously, you're going on tour with Queen in, in America. Are you going to come to the UK towards the end of the year? I think it's very possible, Caroline. Okay, we'll take that as a very yes. Very possible. Then, Brian. We'll take that as a yes, then, shall we? Thank, Thank you very much for that. If we're one. spared, as my mum used to say, if we're spared, we'll if you're spared. If you're yes. spared. <laughs> Guys, it's lovely talking to you. Thanks Thank a million. You. Uh, Brian May, Kerry Ellis. The album, of course, is uh, Golden Days. This is. Um, I think we're going to play Roll With You. How about that? Hey! <laughs> Brian May, Kerry Ellis, thanks a million for joining us. Thank, Thank you, Caroline. For the brand new album from Brian May, Kerry Ellis, that's Roll With You and it's out, uh, well, Golden Years, Golden Days I should say, is out this coming Friday.